Finisor Oriente, this uh, project is beneficial for the city. It will uh, take all the sewage water out of the city and uh, basically avoid uh, flooding. That water could be treated and used uh, for agriculture. Mexico City's current uh, sewage system, the last lines were constructed in the late 60s. If the Misor Central were to fail, then the complete city will be flooded. This is, this is why the importance of, of this tunnel, to help the existing struggling uh, sewage system. This is very important. This project uh, is going to be taking care of uh, a big risk to the city. And I would say not only for the city, to the country, because uh, I would say 80% of the economy is ruled out by Mexico City. The TEO project was divided in six lots. We have a total of 24 shafts on the project and one exit portal. The project is very, very deep, ranging from 20 meters all the way to 150 meters. Our lots, in which uh, the Robbins machines are working, three, four and five with Carso and lot one with ICA. The main joint venture is named Comisa. The owner is uh, the National Water Commission of Mexico, that's the CONAGUA. There are a total of six machines working on these projects. The Robbins Company supplied three of the machines. Well, my name is David Juarez. I am working for ICA. My position here is site manager. Uh, ICA Ingenieros Civiles Asociados is the biggest uh, construction company in Latin America. The, the project is basically, uh, we're expecting to bore soft material. Clays, a little bit of sand, but in general, soft materials. Right now, the TBM Robbins is boring a 3.5 kilometer tunnel. As soon as the machine finishes the tunnel, it's going to be disassembled and sent right away to shaft 20 to start working. Now we're here directly to support CARSO when there's ever any issues uh, during the assembly process. We're here on location to uh, give immediate assistance. Many of us have the experience of pre-assembling the machines at the factory, so we have this knowledge we can bring to them and give it directly in a more timely manner. I think we have luck to be able to work with a company with experience at a mundial level y con la disponibilidad de sus técnicos en todo momento para subsanar los problemas que se presentan en campo, lo cual nos, seguramente tendremos un, un desempeño óptimo de la máquina y siempre el respaldo de una empresa como Robbins. The people of Robbins have been very helpful, very dedicated to the job. Uh, we can talk and uh, speak about the trouble without pretending anything, and the experience they have is in these particular conditions, EPV machines, is being very, very helpful. Uh, the performance is clearly very high in comparison with the other machines already starting working here. My name is Andrew Courtney. I do field service work for the Robbins Company. Uh, right now we're at shaft 10, working on the second machine. I do know that this is a new design for Robbins with a vertical cassette, and it's really performing very well. Had no major issues with it. Everything's been keeping up. It's been keeping up with the machine just fine. Specifically, ICA has the experience of uh, boring using pumping systems. This is the first time we use conveyors. Uh, the type of soil helps a lot. The characteristics helps a lot to make the conveyors more useful. And particularly, this shaft uh, lacks of space. We, we adapt the surface, we adapt the installations, and now we're expecting to, to bore at least 25 meters a day. The, the conveyor systems are working behind the EPV machines in which uh, having the right ground conditioning and having so, some other water injection uh, systems, we are able to mock even uh, soil and very sticky soil such as clay successfully with the vertical belt. The Robbins uh, machine, it is designed to be able to excavate in uh, soft ground and also excavate in rock. Uh, with a, it has a core head that you can exchange these cutters to soft ground uh, cutting tools. Uh, the ground conditions for this project, starting out for the first 150 meters are a clay and sand mix. And after 150 meters, they're going to do a planned intervention with divers to go in and change the cutters from knife bits to disc cutters and they're going to be getting into a little heavier basalt rock. Well, actually, all this stuff so far has been positive. For instance, at Shaft 5, I believe they're almost at their kilometer mark, and they've actually pretty much beaten all the other machines down here in Mexico that are running right now. The experience with the machine Robbins at this moment has been good. We understand that we're in the initial stage. The performance is 
eh, corto con respecto al performance establecido en los programas ya con la configuración definitiva de la máquina, más sin embargo el desempeño en estos momentos ha sido conforme se ha proyectado y pienso que al menos con la experiencia que tenemos hasta este momento pudiéramos recomendar la utilización de una máquina Robbins para proyectos futuros. Uh, at the beginning of this job, our competitor was in the shaft before we were. Uh, it took them roughly one month to do five rings. In one month's time from the finish of our assembly, we were in approximately 100 rings, which would be 150 meters. Once the conveyor's in and tuned in, we are expected to average between 16 and 20 rings per day and I see no reason why everything continues to run well that we can't hit 24 in a day.